Hi, my name is Matt and I'm with ICM Controls. We are in Rochester at the iTech training facility. Today we're going to be installing an ICM 2812 kit universal control module. We're going to be installing it on this carrier slash Payne slash Bryant furnace. It takes the place of over 200 popular furnace boards with popular manufacturers. It is microprocessor based. It is a hot surface ignition control board compatible with LP or natural gas. The control monitors timing, trial for ignition, system switches, flame sensing, and 100% lockout safety feature. And it features an LED indicator for status and fault codes and troubleshooting. In today's climate where parts and supplies are hard to come by, universal parts are an extremely good solution. So for both the distributor and the contractor, it helps you reduce inventory, gives you an available on-hand solution, and the most important part, customer satisfaction is a fraction of the price of other universal boards or the OEM part replacement. Of course, like all ICM products, it is made here in the USA. So let's get this installed in this furnace today. So a couple of things you're going to want to verify before you get started is to make sure that this board is compatible for your application. There's a cross-reference available online at ICMcontrols.com. It is also available in the installation manual in the box. Another thing you're going to want to check before you get started is if is it a two-stage or single-stage product. This control board will do either one. It comes out of the box set for single-stage. So let's get started. Let's get this installed. So what we're working on today here is a Payne Furnace, which is a carrier product. Um, we went already ahead and figured out which board we have, and it's going to give us a model number, HK42FZ009. So what we're going to want to do is take that part number and either go to icmcontrols.com and uh, check the cross-reference or pull out the installation manual right out of the box. Um, when we go down to carrier, we go to the right number, we have the correct board number here, and it's telling us that we need harnesses 11 and 12. So go to your bag of harnesses here, and you're gonna open up, and they're all labeled. Uh, we're gonna pull out harness 11 and harness number 12. So we'll be prepared for when we take this out, we'll have the right harnesses to connect our new board to. So first off, you're gonna wanna take Turn the power off, turn the gas off to be safe, uh, and then get, your, get the proper tools to get started. What I like to do first is to make sure that the holes are gonna line up. The ears are this about the same on here, so they should screw right back into the existing holes. If not, you're gonna wanna mark it, get the proper size drill, sheet metal screw to uh, properly mount your control board. Now that our board is mounted, we can go ahead and start wiring it with the harnesses provided. What I like to do is take the one harness off and then connect it to the new board. So in this case, we've got a nine pin connector here. We've got a 12 pin connector here. This is where the harness comes into play. So with the 12-pin connected in here, this is where we're going to connect our 9-pin. This is our, take off our Molex plugs. That's your 3-prong and your 3-prong. We'll tie all these wires up after. So along with that wire harness number 11, you'll see when you pull your igniter wire off of the board, it's got nowhere to go on here. All we have is a four pin. So we're gonna plug the four pin into there and your wiring harness gets wired into here for now. And your L1, L2, Molex goes there. So now we're all set with there. Um, we've got our, secondary wiring, which is our 24 volt wire. In this case, it's marked red and blue. You're just gonna connect it to the spade connectors. It's of the same color, red and blue. It's nice that it's color coded. Okay, then we take all of our L2 connections off. And we have our transformer primary and our L1. 
here you'll see all your line neutrals, so all the white wires are gonna line up nice and neat over here. Doesn't matter which one goes to where, as long as it's on your neutral. This is your blower and your transformer. Transformer primary. Our blower taps are all over here. See where they were on the uh, existing board, which ones were set to spare. I'll try to do those first. This is uh, the red one is on spare. Uh, on this board, it's park. And we've got black is your cooling. We're going to go to cool high. Yellow was actually set to spare one. The blue wire was set to your heating high. So the orange wire coming from your Molex plug is your flame sensor. That's gonna go at the flame sense control. Your hot connections are down here. So you have your line one, EAC terminal, and your transformer terminal down here. So I'm gonna make sure we get it on the right one. Transformer. Where's my wire? Here it is. Okay. In our case, um, when we said we needed hardest number 12, what that's giving you is a smaller terminal. This is more like an eighth inch or three sixteenths jack instead of a quarter inch jack. So this just takes it from that three sixteenths and makes it larger so you can put it on the quarter inch terminal. That's it. It is wired. It is ready to go. We just want to clean up you know, some of the wires so it's easier to work on next time. And that is it. We'll wire it. We'll test it out, make sure it works. Now that we have our ICM 2812 kit installed in this carrier slash pain furnace, we've tested all the, uh, the sequence of operation, inducer motor, hot surface igniter, gas valve, blower. Everything is working the way it should. But if you have any issues, any questions while you're installing it, reach out to ICM Controls at, with their tech support or at icmcontrols.com for any added information.